What is going on guys? Welcome to the vlog and thank you so much for clicking on the video. Before we get started, please, please, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me, helps this video get seen and lets me know that you guys like the content that I'm putting out. Again, granted you haven't watched the video quite yet, but please go ahead and do it because I know you're going to like the video. As you guys saw, I woke up at 220.6 today. That is two pounds less than yesterday, although you guys didn't really see my weigh-in yesterday. Not quite my low. My low is 218.2, so that's 2.4 pounds lower than where I'm at right now, but you know, I'm not really worrying about it. I'm feeling okay, I'm looking okay, and that's really right now what I have to keep going on. The scale is gonna fluctuate for a number of different reasons, and so you really need to just go by how you feel, how you look, and really use the scale as just one measure of progress. So with that being said, starting off the day with a decent protein shake, egg whites, 200 grams of egg whites, and then I'm using the bodybuilding.com Signature protein, you gotta say, out of all the birthday cake flavor proteins, that one is probably the best, I gotta say. The flavor is just on point, it's not too chalky, you know how some proteins just don't taste the way the flavor says that they're supposed to taste, so <laughs> that one is super, super good. I uh, highly recommend it if you're looking for a good birthday cake protein. Uh, so with that being said, gonna head to the gym here pretty soon. It's earlier than normal, but I wanted to get to the gym earlier because I do work this afternoon. Wanted to get it out of the way because uh, I do have to spend a little more time there today. I'm up in my cardio. I'm trying to do at least 45 minutes a day a few times a week. So, gotta factor in that time to my overall workout. Wanna get there earlier. So with that being said, let's get on with the day. What is going on guys? Welcome to a commentary. I haven't done a commentary in quite a long time, so I wanted to switch it up, come on here and chat about the workout and uh, kind of just how things have been going lately. So before we get started, please, if you are enjoying the video, I know the video just started, but uh, if you could just give it a thumbs up, it does help me, it really does, you know, with the algorithm and, you know, with the content, it does help the thumbs up and the uh, hitting the notification button and subscribing. Everything really, really does help with, uh, you know, just the video being seen, the content that I want to put out, just being seen by people. And it's not just, oh, give it a thumbs up because I feel better about giving it a thumbs up, but it really, really does help the channel. So if you could, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Get, take a second and do that real quick. But moving on, today was a push day. Uh, if you guys have been following me for, uh, any decent amount of time, you'll know that I typically don't split up my workouts into a push-pull leg format. Uh, I'll typically, lately I've been doing a chest back, uh, shoulders, arms, and leg split. Uh, I've been splitting up my workouts that way, but ever since Hale and Taylor were here, our workouts were a little bit different, our split was different. Uh, we decided to hop into their routine, and ever since they've been here, I decided to hop into a push-pull leg, and it's been working out pretty well. It's a nice little change up, so I've been enjoying it. Uh, so push push day, chest uh, tries and shoulders. Typically, I, I will keep the same format of, of my lifts. So I will start off with a heavy compound movement, you know, with um, whether it be the low incline uh, dumbbell bench press or maybe a flat barbell bench press, whatever it might be. Typically, I'll stick within the five to eight rep range, keep it nice and heavy, work my way up to a good heavy set of five, probably almost a failure, um, and make sure I'm stimulating my body and forcing my body to maintain as much muscle as possible during this cut. Because during a deficit, it's easy to lose muscle if you go immediately from lifting heavy to lifting lighter weight, higher reps, and your body doesn't have any reason to hold on to muscle, especially since you're in a deficit. So, uh, biggest tip when dieting, lift as heavy as possible as often as possible um, and obviously being in a deficit you do need to be careful about 
uh, the taxation you're putting on your body. You know, literally you're you're starving your body and you don't want to push it too, too heavy. But at the same time, you want to push it heavy enough to stimulate your body to maintain muscle and if not grow some muscle while you're in the deficit. So today was a low incline dumbbell bench press. I know that was a long way around of saying my first movement was a dumbbell bench press, but start off with that low incline, worked up to the hundreds, I believe first set of five or six, I can't remember. Uh, and then everything after that first movement guys, whatever it is, it's all volume. From there, after I really stress the strength spectrum of uh, lifting, I'll move on to more hypertrophy work, drop sets, supersets. Uh, I'll, I'll keep the intensity fairly high with minimal rest after I get past that first movement, whatever it is. So uh, the first superset here was the low incline chest fly paired with kind of a, uh, not quite an Arnold press, but a neutral grip overhead dumbbell press. Um, and so did a chest and a shoulder there followed that up with two shoulder movements. So this is technically a compound set because you're doing two movements of the similar muscle group. So this was just a high volume. I think I did 15 reps on the plate loaded shoulder press and went right into a plate front raise. So getting the middle delts and then going right into hitting the front delts since I did two chest before this wanted to get into shoulder movements so i really enjoy using the plates i find it's a good way to switch it out from the dumbbells the as you can see the weight is no longer just sitting in my hand it's actually extending past my hand and if you're holding a weight you know if you're holding a 25 pound dumbbell these are 20 these are 25 pound plates in my hands if you're holding a 25 pound dumbbell it's going to feel completely different if you're holding a dumbbell versus holding a plate like I am right now, simply because now that weight is extending out further. It's putting more pressure on the delts, causing them to work harder, although the weight isn't changing. I, I, I urge you guys to try this. You know, I do the, the plate dumbbell bicep curl uh, as well. <coughs> I do the plate bicep, sorry. I do the plate bicep curl in addition to the dumbbell bicep curl and you know you can feel the difference immediately it's much much more difficult so give that a shot i i find it's a great addition to my training uh, after that went to a machine shrug i really enjoy using the machine for <clears throat> the shrug i find using dumbbells just gets kind of cumbersome and you know the dumbbells are dragging against your body and it makes it more difficult to really do the movement itself so i find the either the smith press or the machine really, really helps with my uh, my shrugging movement. After that, finished off with a couple tricep movements. Here was just an easy, easy bar push down, straight bar push down. So this, the straight bar is gonna mostly hit the middle delt, the middle, sorry, not the middle delt, I can't speak right now, <laughs> the middle tricep. So the one highest up in the back, <coughs> excuse me, highest up in the back and then uh, this one I compound set it so I actually did two back to back this one as you can see my grip is completely different than normal so not only am I doing an overhead extension but I'm supinating my grip I'm turning my palms towards the ceiling and what this is going to do it's going to target exclusively the long head of the tricep so this is the this is the head that's right next to the bicep and so I find a lot of people neglect that part of the tricep and I, I do my best to really emphasize that as much as possible. So that's actually going to do it for the commentary guys. Finished off with 20 minutes on the Stairmaster. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in a second. So I'm not sure if you guys can see this or not but I am soaked. I'm soaked. That's a different cut. This, this, and this is a different color than that. So, I currently dying. No, I'm not really dying. I'm just saying that. Let me adjust this exposure. But that actually leads me to a really good point about sweating. Is I think it's a huge misconception between sweating and burning fat. And a lot of people think that just because they're sweating a lot means they're burning a ton of calories. And I want you to think about this. You can sit on the beach, you can sit in the sauna, but you might not be burning a lot of calories, but you might be sweating a lot. So keep that in mind. However, so when you're performing exercise, whether you're doing cardio, whether you're lifting weights, whether you're doing HIIT or low intensity steady state cardio, it really, whatever you're doing, 
yes, there could be some correlation between sweating and burning calories. However, you also gotta think about, some people think about working out and they start sweating. Some people, it takes them two hours to begin sweating. So there's gonna be a big, big difference between how much you sweat in the person and how many calories you're burning and how hard you're working. And so everybody's gonna be a little bit different. You gotta keep that in mind. So when you are working out, Typically, yes, there is a direct relationship between how much you're sweating and how many calories you're burning, simply because if you're working out, if you're performing exercise, your body is probably metabolizing some sort of fuel, whether that's carbs, whether that's fat, overall calories. Just think about general, general umbrella of if you're exercising, if you're moving around, you're probably metabolizing calories, okay? And yes, if you're metabolizing calories, a byproduct of that is sweating. Your body's gonna heat up because there's a lot of work going into turning calories into fuel, all right? It's not just like, oh, calories, fuel, boom, done. The calorie, whatever form it is in, whether it's uh, carbs, fat, it has to be turned into a certain type of fuel, all right? And if it's fat, it's gonna take a little bit longer. If it's carbs, it's gonna be a little bit shorter, but if it's glucose or glycogen, it's gonna be super fast. So just keep that in mind. The more, yes, during exercise, the more your body's working to generate energy through calories, probably the more you're gonna sweat. Your core temperature is gonna go up, your body's going to generate more heat, and your body needs to get rid of more heat. And at the end of the day, everybody's different. Some people are gonna get rid of more heat faster, and other people are gonna get rid of heat slower. And if they're generating heat faster, and if their body's more efficient at getting rid of that heat, they're gonna sweat more, but maybe you might not be as efficient as, as cooling yourself down, and you might not sweat as much. So keep that in mind, there's not always a direct relationship between sweating and working hard. So with that, I wanna say one more thing. Body wraps and things of that sort, wrapping yourself in saran wrap, and things that make you sweat more are not on their own going to make you lose more fat, okay? I wanna be very clear about that. Just because you sweat with things like that, if you're wearing a sweatsuit, if you're you know in the sauna, or whatever you're doing, sweatsuit, body wrap, saran wrap, whatever you're doing, it's not on its own gonna make you lose more fat. So just keep that in mind. Yes, you're gonna be sweating out, you're gonna be sweating out water, and yes, you might wake up lighter the next day, but it's gonna be all water weight, guys. You're not gonna be actually, you can't just sit around with a body wrap on and expect to lose fat around your belly. So keep that in mind. I see so much of that going on on social media now, and uh, there's a lot of misinformation out there, so I wanted to set the record straight when it comes to that stuff. Alright guys, I haven't been completely truthful with you. The reason I wanted to go to the gym early is because it's now a little past 12.30, I work at four. I wanted to get in some time at the pool. I was trying to decide whether or not I wanted to tell you guys this, but that's that. I, I, my conscience was not allowing me not to tell you that. So, that being said, I'm gonna go try and tan this pasty white body. It is Saturday and it is a high carb day. I am so, so excited. So it is 10.50, actually it reminds me, the Alpha Elite Lounge just went live. Granted, you guys won't see it like right now, but if you by chance see this and do wanna pick up some stuff, I'm not affiliated with them, I'm not sponsored, I'm not like getting paid for any of this, but head over to the Alpha Elite site. I just have to say, I just enjoy supporting brands that one, fit me well. You know, it's hard to find clothes that fit me well with my specific body type being taller, being wider, having a fairly long torso, wider shoulders, a fairly slim waist, and you know, these clothes just fit me super, super well. In addition to the vision of the company just aligning pretty well with my visions as well. I just love the clothes, so if you guys do wanna pick something up, head on over to their site. There might be some stuff still in stock because what I saw just like a few minutes ago, 
they launched 50, 50, 5, 0, 50 minutes ago. And within like a couple of minutes, a few of the items were sold out. So hopefully there's still some stuff for you guys to grab if you want it. But with that being said, making some food here, did something a little different. Sorry, I'm a little back, but did something a little different this morning since it is high carb day. So basically I just made like a, uh, like a chicken and egg white and cheese tortilla, like kind of like a little breakfast taco, but it's very, very simple. So these are actually normal tacos. These aren't like low carb or like high fiber tacos. These are normal tacos. And so basically I just put the eggs in the pan, the egg whites in the pan with the diced up chicken, scrambled it all up and that's it. And then I put the tortillas into the oven just to warm them up a little bit because they're actually in the fridge. Keeping them in the fridge uh, allows them to last a little bit longer. So that's what is for breakfast. Like I said, it's about 10.50 and got to get to the gym at some point. Training a pull day today, <sighs> high carb day, got to put these carbs to use. All right, guys, getting ready to head to the gym. I realized that since I showed you guys yesterday's workout, I'm not going to show you guys today. I don't want to overwhelm too much. I know obviously it's like a fitness channel and working out and everything, but I don't want to oversaturate it. You know, I do keep a lot of my exercises the same. And so like seeing the same, I'm doing a pull workout today. And so seeing the same workout like every time or like a very similar workout can get very repetitive. So I want to kind of avoid that. So I will catch you guys when I'm back home. Just kidding guys, oh well, look at that exposure. Just kidding guys. Spur of the moment, decided to come to Alphalete, get a workout in here. So, I'm gonna bring you guys along. It's gonna be a quick one. No music, no commentary, no nothing. Just gonna show you guys what I do. So, pull day, let's get to it. All right guys, it is about 2.45 now, made it back from the gym, and I'm actually going to finish up the video right here because we're at the end of the second day and two workouts in, I feel like that's a, it's a solid video right there. And so I'm just gonna finish off the video right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe and hit that little bell to be sure that you're notified every time I upload a video so you never miss anything. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.